So, the uh, bad slash good news. Um, basically, what, what happened was, um, is I played this game before. I really enjoyed it. I had a great time with it. Um, then it went through a bunch of updates and just a couple days ago got new chapters. So I downloaded it and it turned out I lost all my save games. Now the bad news is that we can't go right into the new chapters. The good news is that we got to replay the first chapter. <laughs> so good news, bad news. Um, gotta be honest, I'm not really uh, super sad that I have to play this game again. It only took a couple hours. So it's, it's not really like the longest game, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start at the beginning. And we're gonna go from there and do it live. Boop. Let's go. Ichigo, thank you for that three gift bomb. Uh, we have Jinxie, Mikey Cole, Spork Ninja, Lazanica, and Pizza by the Slice, all gifting, all, excuse me, with anniversaries, two and one year anniversaries. Thank you for that. And Revan gifting subs last night. Appreciate it. From the creators of The Matrix. There's been no news lately. <laughs> that didn't really uh, take the test of time, did it? The Red Ruin software team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases. And therefore, we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw for something more useful. Yay! Censorship! Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. I love his little crossed legs. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm. Put on a defiant expression and spit in the face of this piece of iron. You tell us all from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm. Spitting was a lousy idea, we agree. You'd better tell your story first. You can still have your defiant expression. You tell us all from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals or of violence. green universe. Confirm? Okay, I'll tell him. I'm gonna spit one more time. <laughs> Just for good measure. You tell us all from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? I'll tell him. <laughs> I. Interstellar liner unnamed. Your yogurt or some other garbage ads could be here. Green Universe Broccoli Attack? You lied to me. Loga was impossible. 
Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth, no lie. Confirm. Continue your definitely unembellished story. Okay. <laughs> Tavern de Dr uh, Dracut Nato. Yes, there was a big update to the game. They basically added uh, chapters two and three. Oh. Greetings. I'm your funerary spacesuit built in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Yes. Splendid. You've gotten into a non standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. Plug. <laughs> to stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. <laughs> There we when go. picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. If you will. <laughs> no, not the <laughs> To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any. Take out the chewing gum from your pocket. Try not to get your funerary spacesuit sticky while holding the chewing gum in your hand. Stick it somewhere except for your face. Was this voice here last time? You deserve some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. It was. Remember that okay. the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. Okay, uh, first of all, can I turn down this... Hmm. Okay, I don't think I can turn down the motion blur. Unless it's post-processing quality? Maybe? Ah, it was. Great. Okay. What's up, girl? September. A typical calendar with girls. Miss September. Grandpa loved and carefully collected such things. I remember in my childhood, Miss December from Grandpa's collection got a fashionably painted mustache, and my ass got some wide strips from Grandpa's belt after this incident. Hey. Oh, it's mine. I love you, the chicken. The chicken was passed on in our family from generation to generation, but she loved Grandpa even more than worms, I think. And Grandpa always returned the affection. <laughs> Is that a beard? I've always been good looking, although my beard was not as thick in my childhood. By the age of three, it got better. Okay. Harry the cat was my first and last pet. He was a proud and a good one. Even the chicken respected him, I guess. At least she attacked me more than him. I don't know when I painted exactly, but I remember that my grandpa's colleagues were laughing their heads off and calling it Alco Lennon. When he, why he hung it over his bed was a mystery. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa! My notion of starships in childhood didn't differ much from my knowledge of them today. I do this masterpiece at six or seven, and I'm still proud of it. It's <laughs> music. Oh, I gotta move over. <laughs> Grandpa couldn't live without space, but he loved home very much, just as any astronaut. When you discover a new blueprint of an item, it is automatically added to the memory or processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources, probably. Scanner. We need a scanner. You got exactly right! It's a book! It has pages inside, letters and numbers on the pages. It also has crumbled corners and traces of greasy fingers. It smells like a book, looks like a book, and tastes no different than a book. Use processor. Okay. Examine piece of truth number 23. 
A page from the famous and only galactic newspaper, Piece of Truth. It has been published for a long period of time and is distinguished by honesty, openness, good absorbency, and softness of paper, which makes it an, makes it an indispensable piece of trashy literature after a hearty dinner. Okay. Famous car exhibition turns out to be a disguise of cannibal chipmunks. Oh, all right. Green Universe activists promise new terrorist attacks if burying any kind of meat in space is not prohibited. Oh. <laughs> so, okay. So the, the broccoli people... What the hell? Those damn bananas continue kidnapping my goats. So the broccoli people probably blew up our ship. That's rude. Okay. A picture with autographs of Grandpa's best friends. It's from the time their crazy gang went on, as they called it, a space odyssey, which lasted almost a year and put them on the blacklist of most bars on inhabited planets. They were really cool guys. All already gone. <laughs> All photo albums at home are filled with pictures of the chicken. A portrait with a dark background, a portrait with a light background, a master shot in the rain, a photo of it sitting heroically in a chair. This family heirloom now belongs to me and I can't even get rid of it to anybody. Oh my god. It wasn't worth blowing bubbles in the face of this immortal bird. The school wanted to sign me on as a sprinter after that race. That day, I flew. Good photo. It was taken two years before Grandpa's death. The jacket has outlived him and will probably outlive me as well. Wow. Chick Chicku Belch? Oh my god! <laughs> Expensive, unfiltered, dark, tasteless, and non-alcoholic. Something chosen by Grandpa solely because of its label, although he always denied it and wrinkled his face when choking on this crap. <laughs> One of the last photos of Grandpa, who didn't part with chicken until his death. New blueprint for alcohol. They have a survival guide. A humor survival guide recorded by one of Grandpa's friends. They even cut some sh uh, shots out from the movie and put it in there. I don't think that such advice can be useful, but to be honest, the situation is somehow strangely familiar to mine. Similar. Uh, there's even a chicken in there. Another book. Find the interphone or get depressed are our options. Our home number. I can't reach it, of course. Well, and there's no one to call unless I say hello to the cockroaches. Oh. Bad face. Looks like India. Somehow I've never asked where this photo is from. Don't forget to feed the chicken. I completely forgot about it. Oh my. Back scratcher. Nice. Cheapest swill drunk by all space dogs. Another physics book. Great. Take a pillow. Okay. We open this. No. Hey, Shamrock. Good morning. Okay. Interphone. Just the antenna. You'll have to go into outer space. Okay. Before we do that, though, let's watch this video. Try to keep it all in. A thoughtless waste of resources can lead to your death. Explore the environment in your search of aids or an analog...
Collect any valuable items in space, but be extremely cautious. Do luck and diligence. You can repair the most valuable equipment or kill yourself in an even more interesting way. and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, so I can just generate as much fabric as I want by peeing on it? <laughs> no. Okay. Let's go check the antenna. A source of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful. The radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. Um, okay. Nutritious goo. Delicious and nutritious. What's this? What was this the antenna? That was a close call. Try to adjust. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel if it's still intact. Oh, my breath down there. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, God. We're fine, these are fine. Oh, the interphone is broken. We gotta go on the other side. Let's do it. It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to great news. Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. Um. Uh-oh. Metal. And that alarm. That alarm, though. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. <laughs> okay. Okay, we need two metal and a wire. Um... Okay. Two metal and a wire. Uh, can I, do I have like a bank? I somewhat remember having a bank. Um, ah. All these pictures and stuff in there. I need to go out and find some metal and, oh wait, what am I doing? Oh, I'm dropping, I'm not transferring. <laughs> Professional chats. Professional. Uh, you. Okay, so we need metal and what else? Wait, what's this? Drill blueprint. 
Grandpa's garage was full of such blueprints. With them, even a hamster could assemble a tiny helicopter for itself and have the wheel and a Phillips head screwdriver. <laughs> Can we make the drill? Find metal battery and thick electric tape. We can make roll of fabric. We need rubber and metal. We need a lot of rubber and metal. Is that this stuff? Break. I need a handy scrapper. Okay. 